Mrs. Murder here. Hi, all. Oh, did you have a good St. Patrick's week? I'm wearing my green since I haven't been able to go out for St. Patrick's Day since we're, you know, won't talk about that, but I've got my Keep Calm Carry On mug with me. I have my Irish soda potato, Irish soda bread, which has cranberries in it, and I just love it, so I thought I'd share some of that. And the girl on my computer, the girl in the spider's web. That's what we're reviewing today, the girl in the spider's web. web David Lagerkrantz, who wrote this after Stig Larsson died. You, you'll remember the trilogy. Well, all of you are probably caught up on all six of the the Sal Salander movie, uh, books. But I read the first three, 2010. I read, and then I just found out there are three more. Initially, when Stig Larsson died, I had heard that his um, partner had not allowed, and there was a family quarrel, I'll just put it that way, about whether they could release his, the material that he, the rest of the books that he had kind of penned in but hadn't fit completed, and she wasn't releasing them, the family didn't want her to, or she wanted to, or whatever. Anyway, now, I went to Barnes & Noble, and what do you know? There is... David Lagerkrantz has written The Girl in the Spider's Web, which is also a movie on Netflix now, and has also written two more after that, one of which is An Eye for an Eye, and then the one that was written just in 2018 or 19, I think. But we'll, we'll do those next week and the next week. But this one, The Girl in the Spider's Web, which I'm reviewing now, if you like the first three, Liz Salander, and Michael Bloomquist sagas, movies, dramas. This one is really interesting too. And I've I read the book. I've also seen the, the video on Netflix. But it's the book is a lot more interesting if you're techie or if you are familiar with computers because it's a computer sabotage really. It's about hackers and it. Even someone who is not as computer literate as I am could enjoy the intrigue and how, and the conflict between companies and stealing each other's uh, property and everything. You'll like David Lagerkrantz's rendition of it. Liz Salander, as soon as the girl with the dragon tattoo starts coming into play, you're already quite a ways into the book. Not to deter you at all but I think we're almost halfway into the book well we're made aware of her earlier on but she becomes a, an active part of it after after about half of the book but don't be deterred by that it's all interesting it's fascinating and of course when she takes uh, gets involved with Michael Bloomquist and everything phew, it just takes off it takes off like like a jet out of an airport it is um Brum, brum, all night long. I mean, if you read all night long, I couldn't put it down. Every time I tried to go, no, I'm gonna finish it. No, I'm gonna finish. So I finished it, and I'm really happy with it, and looking forward to reading the next one for next week. And hope that you'll get interested in it too, especially if you read the first three. If you have, maybe you want to read the thir first three. But if you just saw the movies, either in Swedish, I saw it in Swedish, and then I saw it in English, and. Um, this recent one on Netflix, of course, if it's in English, I think. Hmm. Well, I saw it a while back, and I, I didn't realize this. We ran into it about a month ago, and I, I didn't realize that these were even out before then. So, the Millennium series is still continuing, and it still says it's Stig Larson's, even though we know he passed away. And um, I hope you'll pick it up and enjoy reading it, and then we'll talk about an eye for an eye next week and keep moving with our with this series until then talk ta for now and hope your week was okay for st patrick's day i mean we couldn't have celebrations and everything but you can always pick up some irish soda bread and you can always well i know this isn't irish this comes from from england thanks jenny so 
we'll um, talk to you later. Ta-ta for now.